Hello friends, welcome back to the new video. Today we are going to upload a CSV file and insert the data in the MySQL using the CSV part in the Node.js. So let's get started. So here I'm going to select any of my file. So here I've started uh, added my file. So, so the main file is this one. Okay. And the database is, you can see that this one, this is the database, right? When I try to upload this file, submit, you can see that the sheet is uploaded successfully. I'm going to show, uh, check in the database. All the records are inserted successfully. And also here I can download the CSV file, which I have uploaded. So just I need to click this download button and the CSV file is uploaded. I can open it and I can see that the, all the data that I have inserted is I am able to download it. Okay. So this is how you can see that the weekend uh, import also and download the CSV files also on the same. Okay, so let's get started how we are going to do that in that code. So let's have a look on the code level. So uh, this so let's have a look on the back end first. So this is the base uh, start with the config. First of all, we have db.config.js where we have this one data. Okay, now we have env which we have right now the my db details. Okay, then we have a multi configuration for the uploading the files in the base directory. So you can see that we have using the multi for the destination and you can see that the file path is created with the help of this name and we can upload that multi storage storage and export this one part right. This is upload. Then we have a models models. We have customer where we have mentioned ID name, address and age. ID would be the primary key and it's auto increment. So you can add it or not in the CSV. It's up to you. Okay. Then we have a routers. So we have the routers like this one. We have already uploaded the multi part, right? And we have a file upload. Okay. Single file. Then we have upload maximum to four files. Okay. So you can also add multiple uh, files to upload the data. Okay. And here you can see that the API for downloading the file. These are the routes that we have added. Now we have a server.js which all the files are linked it over here. So here we have connected with a database. And this is basically a router of the Excel router.js. Then we have our resources that which because we have created this HTML part in the node server. So we have this, uh, this kind of files, right? Here you can see that which uh, we have files like um, resources. Okay. App resources. So we have upload file.js. So here we have added all the like the, when we are trying to submit this one. On the behalf of it, we are send a call the API, sending all the data in the multi-part form and uh, handling the response. Then all this data goes to our controller. See on the CSV controller and upload file. And here we are uh, create. Uh, whenever there is a file, we are trying to upload in the upload folder. Okay. After that, we are going to read the data and then pushing the data. Customers push the row. Okay, and then we are trying to save the customers into our database and then we are showing the message that upload successfully. Okay, and after that we have upload multiple files so you can upload the multiple files at the same time. Okay, so the, here we have the multiple f uh, types and they have a promise to resolve or reject the CSV parser stream. Okay, then we have the data and they are getting all the data from it and after this they were trying to wait with and they will going to again the same phenomena but the, here we can we can see that we have a multiple files okay so here we i can see see that there we, we have a multiple files where we have a loop over here right so here we are doing the looping part of the required files whatever the files are going on the same thing same part same thing create stream and everything okay just we here we are and add the promise so once file uploaded then we are going to waiting for the another one so they here we have used the promises to create this uh, to add the css5 in the uploads and then after that we are going to pass that stream okay and then we are going to insert the data into the database then we have a download file file path so here we have all the attributes then we are going to parsing it and making a csv field with this one then json 
to csv parser we are using and then pass that one and we're trying to download this file so this is the exports or download code we have a multiple uploads also we have a single uploads also okay so this is you can see that this is a file for the controllers for adding the upload files and save the data into the database okay and then we have the static js files are done then we have the layout then we have the views okay then we have index.html where we have selected all the things right so here we have making the file and uh, you can see that we have a form id upload and after this one we have already uploaded this section we have upload.js where we are trying to upload with the form when they when they whenever there is a hit of the submit button then we are trying to hit the api and get all the data and send it to the um, front end right this part okay so this is how we have made upload a single file multiple file with the help of multer multer and with the help of mysql so any query in that just let me know in the comment section okay so we will uh, any we will resolve that query okay thank you so much for watching this video have a great day